Hey guys, thanks for turning up today. We really appreciate it and we are going to get started real soon. So first of all, I'm Andy Black, uh, the creator of Web Prospector. I hope that you're enjoying using the software and getting some real benefit from it. However, here's the thing. Finding businesses that need your services is just part of the equation and Web Prospector caters for that. But pitching your services and closing a sale with your prospects is something else altogether. So this is why I have decided to bring in a true expert within this field so that you can learn from him and take your business to the next level. So today I am joined by somebody called Ron Herman, who has coached and trained elite sales professionals to be able to close high ticket deals. Now he does this by using verbal and non-verbal messages that compel prospects to buy. As a special consultant and persuasion trainer for Corporate Recharge, he hosts regular workshops in places such as Singapore, um, Bali, Australia, Malaysia, uh, Dubai, and Abu Dhabi, and that's just to name a few locations. Now, Ron has brought covert persuasion to the world of corporate sales, and in virtually every case, the results have been exemplary, with closing rate improvements of 200 to 300% or more being achieved instantly and consistently. Now, Ron's track record of revenue increases and as a master sales coach and trainer have resulted in him being a highly sought and highly paid troubleshooter for literally hundreds of firms across many different industries. And before becoming a coach and trainer, Ron's own highly uh, successful career in sales has accounted for literally millions of dollars in yearly revenue and uh, across again across many different industries where he has received countless top awards as the top earner. His down to coaching and training style makes learning his influence and persuasion techniques accessible to both veteran and novice sales professionals. So it doesn't matter what your skill level is, you are going to benefit from what he has to share with you today. Ron is also a master practitioner of NLP, which stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. Now this allows him to have an in-depth understanding of how conscious and unconscious minds work, how decisions are made, why people and companies buy, and most importantly, what makes them buy from you right now and there and then. So Ron's training teaches strategic versus tactical closing skills. So where more sales training teaches how to get past a gatekeeper, Ron is going to demonstrate to you how to influence gatekeepers and kind of enlist them as inside allies to get connected with the actual decision makers. That's why it's no surprise that high ticket marketing firms and direct sales companies have happily paid Ron's $10,000 fee plus expenses just for him to spend an hour or two with their sales professionals. And the fact that he has an 86% recall rate makes it clear that the success he has brought them was money well spent. So that's eight out of 10 sales organizations that have paid Ron just once and I've asked him to come back for repeat training sessions. So you might be thinking, what are you going to learn in today's free workshop with Ron? Well, he's gonna guide you through how to turn the leads Web Prospector provides into ravenous buyers and also show you how anybody can be a master deal closer without changing their personality. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to our special guest, Ron Herman. Over to you, Ron. Okay, good, Andy. Well, it looks like a pretty good turnout then, huh? How are we looking so far? Well, it looks like there's a lot of people joining us today, uh, Ron. Uh, got here, here, we've got uh, lots of me's, um, people from Canada, um, got people from the US, even from the UK. It's uh, late, so they must be like uh, staying up late for it, like I am. Um, well, it looks like a lot of people um, want to learn how to close clients today, Ron. Okay, thanks for the intro, Andy. And let's go ahead and get this party started. The name of this presentation is How to Close High-Ticket Consulting Deals Without Coming Off Like a Douchey Used Car Salesman. I'm Ron Herman, and I'm a high-ticket one-call closer, and I've been training consultants and coaches to, to close high-ticket consulting deals for many years now. So I'm going to give you a humanely brief introduction. I'm going to blow through this real quick because this is really all about you. Uh, but I've got to give you a little bit of info on me, so here we go. I'm universally known as one of the most successful sales trainers to consultants, coaches, and sales and marketing professionals on the planet. High ticket, one call closed sales trainer for more than 25 years, founder of one of the quickest to seven figure 
local marketing agencies ever with gross revenues of more than $2 million in the first year and have coached and trained thousands of consultants and many of them to seven figures and beyond. And that's enough about me. All right, so next we're going to have a few words from a very successful former student. Hi, my name is Julian. I run a local online marketing company here in San Diego, California called Dream Labs Marketing. We cater to plastic surgeons, dermatologists, and medical spas. And about eight years ago, when I was first starting out, I came across a free online marketing webinar, much like the one that you're on today, which really was going to help me hone in my sales skills before I went out there and closed clients that were a little bit bigger than I was used to dealing with in the past, plastic surgeons. And that's when I came across Ron Herman, which the advice that he gave to me just on that free webinar alone helped me go in there and charge more money than I was initially anticipating to ask for uh, and help me close the biggest deal of my career. I walked out of there with a check for $9,000 up front and $6,000 a month in recurring revenue. This was eight years ago, and that was all just based on the advice that he gave me off a free webinar, much like the one that you're on today. So I really wanted to say a big thank you to Ron and his team for giving me that insight uh, because it really gave me the confidence that I was looking for to go out there and close that deal that was bigger than I originally was comfortable with at the time. And the advice that he gave me just based on that free webinar alone actually enticed me to take one step further and go in with a full coaching program with Ron, which has led to numerous deals that now pretty much close on autopilot just based on the advice that he gave to me. So Ron, a big thank you. And those of you that are inside this webinar right now, I highly recommend you listen to every word that he has to say because you will find some very important and useful information in there uh, that I know if you just go out there and apply it, will make you money. Okay, thanks Julian, and uh, it's great that he soldiered through the jet flying above. Anyway, Julian now has scads of high-ticket clients, and his workload is minimal, so he has focused in on one particular industry, and he does one particular thing. He does it very well, and he told me uh, before he actually recorded the video that he charges more than any of his competitors, and I think like three times more than the next closest competitor. So um, would you like to have lots of high-ticket, easy-to-help clients like Julian? I bet you would, huh? Go ahead and pop in there a yes, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so type your answer in the box, yes, of course, or all the above. All right, so here's what you're going to learn. You might want to take notes. You're going to learn how to open your initial conversation with a prospect using a secret covert question that will immediately change their perception of you in your favor, of course. You'll go from being that sales guy or gal or that you know computer nerd to a trusted advisor, and that's where you want to be. A simple method to create instant rapport without using any of the ham-handed tactics others suggest, like matching and mirroring. Um, that can go really bad wrong, and they'll think that you're mocking them, and you really don't want that. Um, you're also going to learn how to seed conversations with loaded questions that cause your prospects to sell themselves, and that eliminates any need for you to sell them, um, and how to smoothly transition to the close so you never come off as pushy or needy using a very slick contrasting method that leaves them with the decision of which of your packages to go with rather than should they do it or not. That's something else I think you're really going to find helpful. And you'll finally know how to close high ticket deals without ever being uncool or douchey. Okay. All right, let's move on. And I'm going to teach you all this by showing you a very simple four step formula that eliminates the need for you to ever hard sell and you'll close consulting deals effortless, effortlessly, much more effortless effortlessly than I can say that, and, uh, and for much more money, even if you're nervous or shy. Now, here's why this is important to you. As you probably already know, most of the sales training out there for coaches and consultants is dead wrong. In fact, a lot of it would actually kill deals for you. Uh, and you probably also know that business owners are pretty much immune to hard sell pitches. They're constantly being hammered on to buy this or buy that. So the moment they feel a sales pitch coming on, they put up that not buying anything wall. So the 
only potential downside to this cool no push approach is that unless you do it right the, the prospect could try to take control so i'm going to show you how to firmly but gently maintain control of the frame so you don't let that happen and by not pushing and annoying prospects and allowing them to come to their own conclusions they will respect you a lot more and when they respect you and your expertise you naturally become the obvious expert to them now you're probably wondering if this is for you and whether you should stay on here so i'll go over this really quickly as well uh, if you're a consultant to local or small to medium business owners and want to close high ticket deals without being pushy this is for you if you're already an agency owner and want to scale and grow your business and, and increase profits this is for you too if you have a fear of starting conversations with prospects that lead to sales and you'd like to overcome that fear this is definitely for you if you're an agency owner want to upgrade your clientele to more affluent easier to help and longer term clients it's for you and if you want to know how to turn leads into qualified prospects and turn those prospects into high paying ideal clients this is going to be for you as well in short if you're serious about scaling a successful agency and want to close consulting deals confidently and without resorting to sleazy tactics, tactics <laughs> this is for you. If you're shy, a bit nervous, or scared, whatever, and you know you're you're afraid to talk to business owners, you want to learn how to turn your perceived weak points into your greatest strengths. This is for you. If you're if you approach prospects a little too anxiously and enthusiastically and maybe talk yourself out of deals or find that they pump you for lots of information and then hire someone else, this is for you. Does it sound like it's for you? Go ahead and type your answer in the box. Here's your choices. Yes, definitely, or all the above. I'll give you a second or so and let's go on. All right. So first of all, I need to have total transparency here. My results are certainly not typical. Most people who buy any how to make money training never make any money. And the reason for a lot of that is because they never do anything with it or anything at all, actually. So, but I still had to say that the lawyers wouldn't have it any other way. All right. So honest confession. Yes, I know what you're thinking and I do have a distinct advantage over most people starting in this industry. I already had a great deal of experience in sales and coaching, closing rather high, high ticket offers. So naturally you would assume that when I started my agency, I'd be an immediate success and close pretty much every body I spoke to, right? Well, not even close. My first outing was a dismal failure. Even with all my experience closing high ticket sales, I found that selling consulting is, well, it's just different. The first few prospects kindly listened to my presentation and graciously thanked me for the information and said, I need to think about it. Total abject failure, doom, despair, and tragedy. And so it went for the next five or six meetings or so in succession. Now, if you've ever felt embarrassed or intimidated about, about selling, you're certainly not alone here. I'm going to reveal to you a process right now that will take the fear and frustration out of selling consulting. A process that was born out of trial and error, frustration, utter despair, gross ineptitude, and lots of research. And it works. Are you ready? Go ahead and type your answer in the box. Ready, super ready, or I was born ready. A, B, or C will do. All right, we'll go ahead and continue on. All right, so we're going to go right into the training here. Step one, I call this the core perception shift because really it changes the prospect's perception of you 180 degrees, and I'll explain how. Actually, the rapport building routine probably should have been either before this or or whatever included with this because they kind of work together the core perception shift does a few things number one it's a pattern interrupt if you know anything about nlp you know that that's just an interruption of their normal pattern you're going to do something they don't expect in this case it's going to be a question it future paces them which removes the fight or flight response that you usually get when you try to sell somebody something 
And because of the pattern interrupt and the future pacing, their perception of you changes from whatever it happens to be to trusted expert advisor. Like magic. All right, so it goes like this. When you meet with them, the first thing you're going to say is, tell me, whatever their name is, what's your exit strategy from this business? I don't mean the exit strategy where you work yourself to death and then someone inherits everything you worked hard for. The exit strategy I'm talking about here is the one where you build up as much value in your business as possible, then you sell it for a huge sum of money and you can do whatever you like for the rest of your life. Do you have one of those? And generally when you get the answer to that, it's going to be no. And if they say no, then I usually like to ask them, well, how old are you? If they say 40, 50, it doesn't matter really. Then my next question is, well, don't you think now would be a good time to start thinking about that? All right, so do you see how the core perception shift easily changes their opinion of you from salesperson or internet geek or whatever to trusted advisor? Okay, all right, so type your answer in the box. Yes, definitely, or all the above. Okay, we're getting a lot of responses here. A lot of people say yes, very good, we'll move on. Okay, step two, instant rapport. That's making them feel comfortable uh, and confiding to you, right? And this process is more about you than them, actually. Um, it's 100% internal, but believe you me, they will feel it if you're sincere about it when you do it. All you really got to do is look at the prospect and think of a good friend or relative that you really care about that the prospect reminds you of. Then imagine that they are actually that person. Then you're going to feel this warmth about them and it will convey to them. It works like magic. It just really works. Then you want to start. Okay. So do you see how changing how you see them puts them at ease with you and builds instant rapport? Again, type your answer in the box. Yes, definitely, or all the above. All right. We're getting responses right now. I'll move on. Step three, inception. Now, this is one of the trickier parts of this, and this is how make how you make them, or you make buying, rather, seem like their idea. The Inception Method, I, I got this name from the movie Inception, all right? So what it does is you, you're framing a true statement into the form of a question rather than a statement. And it needs to be a question that they can really only answer one way without feeling stupid or silly, okay? With an inception style approach, the prospect subconscious causes them to feel as though they came to the conclusion themselves. Even though you seeded them, they don't see that. And here's why it's important. Inception kills something called reactance. And I grabbed some stuff from Wikipedia on it because they can explain it better than me. Um, reactance is an unpleasant motivational arousal or reaction to offers suggestions, persons, rules, or regulations that threaten or eliminate specific behavioral freedoms. It occurs when a person feels that someone or something is taking away their choices or limiting their range of alternatives. Reactance basically occurs when someone is heavily pressured to accept a certain view or attitude or to buy something, right? It can, it can cause a person to adopt or strengthen a view or an attitude that's contrary to the suggestion or recommendation that was given, and that increases resistance to persuasion. In other words, when you tell somebody that they should do something or insist that they really need to, they rebel and they do the opposite. They, they take a stand against you. So instead of complying, they re reinforce their opposing position and resist any additional suggestions, which of course is not good. So here's an example. A really good inception method I, I learned, or well, I actually, I, I used this when I was consulting for a telemarketing firm. They were selling low mintage gold coins. And you can use this in anything, but I'm going to use this example because it's a really good one. And in their presentation, they were using this statement. And the statement was, when there's only a small amount of something and a whole lot of people want it, the value naturally goes up. It's just supply and demand, which is a true statement, but when configured as a question, 
where they draw their own conclusion, just so you know, this increased their closing percentage by 20% without doing anything else, okay? So it goes like this. Okay, name, when there's only a very small of something rare and a whole lot of people want it, what do you think happens to the value of it? Of course, they're going to say, well, it goes up. Now, they may be the most skeptical person in the world, and they may not believe anything that comes out of anybody's mouth but their own, but they believe every conclusion that they come to on their own. So you can see how that would help you, right? So now that you've learned how Inception short circuits reaction and makes buying their idea, or it seemed like it anyway, do you see how this makes it much easier to close deals? Again, type your answer in the box. Yes, definitely, or all the above. I'll give you a second or two. I'm already getting some people doing it. So, all right, yeah, yeah, a lot of yeses, a lot of all the abovs. <laughs> One guy puts, hell yes. Okay, great. Thank you. All right, so step four, the close. And this is where we use contrasting methods. And again, that's going to make paying you seem like their idea or selecting a particular package is going to seem like their idea over not doing it. Okay, so uh, it's another simple but very, very powerful routine. All you're going to do is what, what we call box them in. You're going to frame ideas in the form of open-ended this versus that questions. And that's going to allow them to draw their own conclusion again to make a decision on this or that rather a yes rather than a yes or no i hope you follow me contrasting also eliminates the do it or don't do a choice um, i'll give a couple of examples on this okay so first of all the first example i'll give you is uh, one that i used quite a bit when selling to prospects consulting um, is this you know most of the people who sell consulting or internet consulting to local businesses, their primary objective is to try to talk you into doing things and spending money to drive traffic to your website. You probably know that. And But let's say that your website right now is really not converting visitors into buyers or customers. Maybe you have it, I don't know how many you really have, how many visitors you have every month, but let's just say, pull a round figure out. Let's say you have a thousand visitors a month and it's not converting any of them to customers. So what's a thousand times zero? And they're gonna say zero, of course. Um, okay, so let's say we increase your traffic tenfold. What's 10,000 times zero? <laughs> Still zero, right? Okay, so what, I like to do my my method is this we make your site convert customer or convert visitors to customers first then pay to send traffic and it's always it always costs money whether you pay for somebody to do SEO whether you pay for ads any way you look at it you pay for the traffic to your website so which which way do you think makes more sense? Their way of just throwing, you know, the shotgun method, hoping something will stick, or my method of making sure that it sticks and then driving the traffic. And of course, they're going to agree that my method is better. The next example is in the close. It's a very end of the close. Instead of giving them, okay, here's the deal, here's how much it costs, they can say yes or no to that. There's There's only two choices, do it or don't do it. Instead, try offering two or three packages. If you offer three, I can tell you right now, 80% of them are going to take the one in the middle. And you know why? It's a, it's a, this is a very genius move on their part. It's because it's the one in the middle. So anyway, um, that's the only scientific evidence of it. They just pick the one in the middle. So if you give them choices of which package to buy, you're a lot less likely to have them say no than if there's only one. Does that make sense? All right, so you understand how using contrasting removes the yes and no scenario and replaces with a this or that option instead, right? Okay, so type your answer in the box again. I'll give you a couple of seconds here. Yes, definitely all the above. You can type in your own like heck yeah or anything else you want to put in there. All right, so now... I want to kind of go over what 
I think the big takeaways are, and, and you'll actually know what your big takeaway was if, the, if you know, whichever one, or if maybe they were all big takeaways for you. Um, you learn how to open your presentation and change their perception of you. Very important. And you also learn how to establish rapport the easy way. You learn how to implant ideas in their mind, inception style, and you learn how to use contrasting to make buying your solution seem like the only really logical choice, or the choice being which package to take, right? All right, so I hope you got at least one big takeaway or more from your training so far. Even if you only got one takeaway that actually helps you close a deal, um, I'd say it was probably worth the time that you spent, right? So how would you like to learn even more high caliber methods? That sound like a good idea? Type your answer in the box. Yes, definitely all the above. Any of those will do. You can write in your own if you prefer. I'll give you a couple seconds. Got a lot of yeses, a lot of definitely's, and several all of the aboves. Okay, let's move on. So here are your options at this point. You can continue to be the Lone Ranger and go it on your own using the try, fail, and try again method, or we can do it together. When you take the do it together option, here's what you're going to get. Six weeks of intensive master closure and high caliber consultant training. You're going to learn how to qualify and get a roster of only ideal type clients. And that's very important. If you have clients and you haven't done that, then you know how important that is. Um, live interactive Q&A calls to hone your skills and solve problems. So we're not going to let any question that you have in your mind go unanswered. More in-depth how-to training for opening and closing presentations. How to create impactful and succinct elevator pitch. And it's always a good idea if somebody says, what do you do? That you can tell them just a couple of lines exactly what it is that you do. The only rebuttals for objections that really work, there is a lot of rebuttals that people memorize and they just most of them don't do anything. They don't work. And the best way to, to handle objections really is to not get any, but there are a few rebuttals that actually do work and we'll go over those. We're also gonna, I'm also gonna show you the best way to neutralize competitors in your prospects' minds while charging the highest setup and recurring fees in your chosen fields, like Julian. I'm going to show you how to scale your agency five to ten times the easiest and simplest way you've ever seen. You won't even be able, you, you can't even imagine how easy this is once you actually see it. You'll, you'll be surprised. I had a lot of coaching students tell me, oh, it's genius, and it's very simple. <laughs> so it's not genius. I, I wish, I always tell them, look, if it was genius, I would have Born, I would have been born knowing this, not having learned it through pain. So anyway, here's what else you're going to be learning. You're going to learn how to add new high impact solutions to maximize your monthly recurring income. So no matter what it is you're offering, there's more things you can tack on to get more money every month. How to get referrals from your clients that are pre-sold on you. You're going to learn how to coach clients to give you killer testimonials and endorsements. How to leverage fear of lagging behind their competitors to compel them to invest more in their business with you. How to help clients establish an operations process designed for maximum lifetime customer value. And I'm going to tell you, any process you put in place with these people, most of them have none. Their process is tactical. It's like whatever happens, then they try to figure out what to do. Okay, so if you set up a strategic process for them, they're going to love you. How to lead your clients to success. And, and I'll tell you, they are looking for a leader. There's a saying that people are running around with their umbilical cord hanging out, looking for a leader to plug it into. Let's make it you. All right. Plus, you're also going to learn how to target the prospects who are the most inclined to pay you the most money with the least resistance and how targeting a particular type of prospect will instantly generate 300 to 500% or higher increase in profits and where to find droves of them all in one place at the same time. How to make any lack of credentials or experience irrelevant, and it's probably not what you think. A weird little tweak to client targeting that's going to get you four to five or more high caliber, high fee paying, and easy to help clients with the same effort 
that would normally be required to, to get just one. And how to use fear to scare up more clients fast. And I'm sure you know that pain trumps desire, but did you know that fear trumps pain? And there are many fears you can leverage, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, here's a few more, and I, I decided to give these snazzy names. Prospo proposal disposal. <laughs> you know how when you give a prospect a, pro a proposal, can't talk. They immediately go into the witness protection program, <laughs> meaning when you call them back to follow up, their gatekeeper says they're out or in a meeting or they were abducted by aliens or they went to, they flew to the moon with Elon Musk or whatever. I'm going to show you how to sidestep the proposal callback hell once and for all. The next one is scuttle that rebuttal. I'm going to show you how to eliminate most objections before they ever come up. So you can pretty much throw away that list of rebuttals you've been memorizing, and I know you've been. Uh, accentuate the positive. There's an old song that goes like that. And um, this is going to be how to use the language of persuasion and eliminate negative words you're probably using right now and not even thinking about it. Now, some questions and answers that I've that questions I've gotten and the answers that for those questions. And first one is, do these methods work only for face-to-face -face meetings? And the answer is no. I'll show you how to do this either in person, over the phone, over Skype or whatever, and online. Will it work if I live in anywhere? It doesn't matter where you live. I live in the Philippines. Yes, it doesn't matter. You can work with clients anywhere in the world. I've done it from here. How can I get past gatekeepers? Eh, well, actually, rather than trying to sidestep the gatekeeper, I usually try to enlist them as an ally. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I think you're really going to like this. Now, what are the best verticals or professions to target? And that kind of depends. I have a standard scratch test for targeting clients with high customer value. The rest is a matter of choice. Like Julian, for example, he targets aesthetics, you know, plastic surgeons, cosmetic dentists, that sort of thing. It doesn't really matter. What really matters is do you like the people and do, do they charge enough that, you know, their, their first time and lifetime customer values are high enough to support paying you every month. That's really all it comes down to. Should I start with a big ticket fee? Well, yes and no. Kind of depends on how you are. If you think you can handle it, why not? But I'm going to show you how to get in the door with a very small one-off microservice and upsell them to $6,000 to $8,000 monthly. And that's the easy way to get in the door and then upsell them to higher services. Will this help me if I'm brand new with no clients yet? Absolutely. I mean, obviously you have to be a business person or business minded, but I'm going to show you how to fill your roster with only ideal clients. So that way you're not going to get stuck with a bunch of clients from hell. And really, it's easier to start something new than to fix something that's already broken, okay? So if you're new, at least you don't have a broken tool to start with, okay? You've got a clean slate, and you can start out the right way. All right, so this is a six-week intensive training with hot seat calls. The cost is $1,200 when you use the split pay option, or you can save $200 by taking the single pay option for $997. Now, I don't need to tell you that $997 isn't even a fraction of the profit you'll make on one sale. Look at Julian. First day, first day after the first training session, $9,000. So 10x the cost for the, for the, actually he paid more than that. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Whatever he paid pales in comparison to the amount of money that he's made. I'm sure you can understand that. Okay, so here's a value breakdown. The Closer's classroom training, and I, it says real value, $3,000. And I'm going to explain to you why it says that. Because the last time I did this, the cost was six payments of $497, $500. So right at $3,000. I'm also throwing in my five-minute $500 method training, the manuals, the pitches, all that stuff, the videos. Um, that's $1,000 retail, and that's not something I'm pulling out of the air uh, that's what we are charging for it right now. One-to-one -one training call with me. I charge $1,000 an hour. I'm giving you half an hour, 500 bucks uh, retail. 
Um, and just so you know, I don't look at the clock when I'm talking to somebody. If we're not done, we keep talking. That's just how it is. I want to make sure you succeed. Local Evergreen Package, and you'll see that in a few minutes. I'm going to show you how to use all those services I talked about tacking on. And these are things that have absolutely nothing to do with technology. These are things that you can that you can set up for the clients that's going to make them money and they'll appreciate you for it and they will stick with you. Genius, genius scaling and personal development. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how to set up goals, how to set up a scaling map, where you want to go, figure it out, get very, very clear on how you, what you want, where you want to go, and how you're going to get there. And then we have a moderated peer mastermind group, and the value on that is, well, it's priceless. I've seen quite a few examples of people in my masterminds in the past help each other with problems that they had. They may have, in fact, I had one ask me one once when we were on a Q&A call. He asked me a question I just didn't have the answer for because I never encountered the problem that he had. The very next thing that happened was another, another of his peers spoke up and said, hey, I've already dealt with this. I know how to handle that. And so he got on, I gave him the, the, uh, the mic, he got on, and the problem was handled. And so that is the power of a peer mastermind. So a total real world value of $5,297, $5,300 really. Okay, so $5,300 value for $997. You're going to get everything, the whole shoot and match for $997 today if you pay one, one price or $597 times two. Is it for you? Well, you got to be an action taker because I, no matter what I teach you, if you don't use it, it's not going to do anything for you. You're, nothing sells itself no matter what anybody says. They always say, oh, this sells itself. And, and I always want to tell them, well, then shut up and let it do it because I didn't hear it say a thing. Okay, but you got to take action. You can't be a get rich quick or shiny object type of a person. It's just not that. This is a roll up your sleeves and get busy kind of a deal. Established or new but serious consultants, if you're already in the industry and you want to scale and grow, um, this is for you. Determined and dedicated. you got to be determined and dedicated. And hopefully you're determined and dedicated to grow a successful agency and make it a business that at some point you have an exit strategy from. Success driven. Basically, you want to double or triple your income without doubling or tripling your workload or hours. And hopefully you want to do that. Working hard doesn't work. Business minded. This is a professional business, so you do need to approach it with total professionalism. And I mean, that should go without saying, right? Now, there are people this is not for. And this is, it's not for info junkies who never follow through with any kind of action. It's not for perpetual newbies who refu refuse to move past the planning stage. And if you are one, you know it. Um, this is not for you. I expect people in this training to actually study and then take action on what they've learned. Okay, so if you won't take action, don't spend your money. Negative, pessimistic minded. Some people say negativity is a cancer. I do not agree. Cancer is not a communicable disease. It's, it's not contagious, but negativism is. Negativity is like the Ebola virus. So we would just won't have negative or pessimistic people. Whiners and babies, again, same sort of thing. It's not for you. Uh, don't work well in a give, or take, give and take atmosphere. Again, you're going to be in a pure mastermind. We want people who are, you know, iron sharpens iron. We want people who are going to help each other. Or if you're the kind of person who just wants to learn this and not provide real value to clients, I don't want you, okay? You have to want to help clients. This is a pay it forward kind of a business. If you help a business grow, they hire people, it creates jobs, it stimulates the economy. It's, that's, that's why I like this much better than internet marketing, okay? This is a pay it forward business. And know-it-alls, I mean, if you think you already know everything, um, you can or won't learn, it's just not for you and quitters. If you give up easily, it's not for you either. I mean, nothing I've ever gotten that was worth getting was ever easy. I had to work for everything I've ever had. And I pretty much think everybody has to. You have to learn and then you have to take action. All right, so let's go. 
that last slide didn't scare you off, then let's go ahead and get with it. The price will go up and the value you get today will give you a better business and a better life forever. The, the price is never going down. It's been more. It's been three times as much. Um, now, for the first 20 people or so, I'm going to go ahead and actually 20. We've got it set at 20. So the first bonus is the five minute $500 method. And again, selling this right now for $1,000, you get a training manual, pitch documents. There's videos, the four live training calls that go with it. Again, I like to coach people. I prefer to make sure you don't have questions that aren't answered. And it has its own mastermind group as well. So it's a thousand dollar value. I'm throwing it in to the first 20 people. Killer bonus number two, local evergreen services. Again, I already told you about this, setting up customer react, reactivation, loyalty programs, all that sort of thing. Um, this is going to make you a lot of extra money. I don't care whatever it is, is that you sell, whether it's reputation, SEO, doesn't matter. They need other things and you can help them do it and, and get paid. I set up a customer reactivation program for one of my local clients. Um, he had thousands of customers. He'd never even contacted them again after they bought. And we did a customer reactivation program, direct mail. Within three weeks, he brought in another $86,000 and I got 10,000 of it. His net was a little less than 30,000. I got 30%. Yeah, uh, it was supposed to be 30%, but he gave me 10,000 anyway. He wrote the check for 10,000 because he was impressed. Okay, so killer bonus number three, personal development. And again, going to set you up a roadmap for how to groom yourself for success. Killer bonus number four and five, scale your agency. This is everything you need to get total clarity on how to grow, set your goals, scale your agency to meet your goals, and all the forms that you're going to need to simplify that process. And bonus number six, one-to-one -one co consulting, one-to-one -one coaching with me. And I already told you about that. So again, um, the genius scaling method, once again, I've got all the worksheets and stuff, and we'll go over those to show you how to scale. So the value breakdown, one more time, you're going to see it here. You've already seen this. Total real world value of $5,297. That is not one of those inflated, hey, it's $18 million, but today it's only 27, right? It's an actual over $5,000 value that you're getting for $997. And I know that you know that it's worth it. So get in now. The spots are limited. Go to the address there or hit the button that's in the, uh, that's in the chat box there. Price will never be lower. The bonuses are going to be going away. Uh, this is a one-time investment investment that's going to pay dividends for years to come. Um, here's some testimonials. Uh, this guy, Mark, um, he says he never more, earned more than $1,000 a week until he studied, studied closing with me. And last week he made $24,360 in one week. And he's selling investments. Um, it's in your moments of decision that your destiny is shaped. And it's decision time right now. So if you're sitting on the fence, get off of it, grab this, you're going to make more money. That's all there is to it. One sale is going to put profit in your pocket. Okay. I'm going to show you how to get the highest possible fees for what you do. And I'm going to show you how to do it the easiest possible way. Here's another testimonial, Tammy Patzer, one of my, again, one of my favorite students, um, she was afraid to talk to anybody. She said she didn't think med, men would listen to her because she's a woman. And uh, she says she went from chasing tight wads uh, to being stalked by uh, multimillionaires begging her to take their money. And basically she says, I helped her create her ideal business. She's gone on to publish 22 international best-selling books. She spoke at NASDAQ and she actually has a certified or was it certified or, or accredited uh, social media marketing class in a college now. Here's another quote. The more you seek security, the less of it you have. Brian Tracy. So if what you're thinking about is holding on to money instead of making money, you you know you want to you want to invest money in your future. This is something that's going to help you forever. Here's another one. 
Learn more about closing high ticket deals in two short conversations than in the last year, 10 years of studying the usual suspects. I already told you about the peer mastermind, so I'm going to go ahead and skip this. Go ahead and get signed up. Here's another guy that I, I did some training with. Um, he was, what he did was selling uh, from the table behind speakers, stage platform speakers. So that's people that sell products and services from the stage. And he says, get with me and you'll improve your closing skills and conversion rate. And he says, this guy's forgotten more about high fee deal closing than the so-called gurus ever knew. So, and anyway, maybe you have some fears, we all do, but everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Suspend your fear, go ahead and grab this, and I'll see you on the inside. Now, if you have any questions that didn't get answered here, I'm going to give you a chance to actually set up a call with me on Calendly. It's, I misspelled it. It's Calendly. <laughs> but anyway, I've got a, a good thing. I have a shortcut link there uh, because I didn't spell Calendly properly. Anyway, it's offline ninja.com forward slash call. Or you can hit me up on Facebook, Ron Herman. That's my vanity URL. So go ahead, sign up. If you have questions that I haven't answered, if you have a real burning question, you, you just need to know one thing or two things before you do it, go ahead and, and hit me up on Calendly, make an appointment. We'll do a little short call and we'll handle that, okay? So go ahead and get on in there and I'm gonna turn it right back over to Andy. Well, first of all, I'd just like to start by thanking yourself, Ron, for turning up and sharing some knowledge with my uh, customers. So thank you for that. I really appreciate it. I'm sure that everybody else does too. And um, I'm sure they'll agree, everyone will agree that Ron um, certainly knows his stuff when it comes to closing clients and getting sales. I'd like to thank everyone else as well for turning up. I know that it's sometimes not always the best time zone that you might be in to attend these type of training sessions. So I appreciate you for either getting up early or staying up late. It's late here in the UK now where I'm based. So I appreciate everybody who has attended as well. I just want to end my part in this uh, training session by reiterating the value of the offer that Ron is offering. Now, remember, it will only take just one extra client, just one client by applying what Ron's offer will give you the benefit of. So if you get one client, that's going to cover the cost of the entire training. So just bear that in mind. Just think of how Ron's offer can potentially change every aspect of your life if you just apply what he's going to be t uh, training and teaching you. So thank you for turning up. Take advantage of it. Don't let it slip through your fingers um, if you haven't already seriously consider it but don't spend too much time over it and thanks again ron for um, providing this training session for my customers cheers guys